Hi there everyone, it's Yako here. I'm still having a cold and this thing doesn't seem to be getting any better. My voice instead it seems to be getting worse, but uh, I hope we can make through this little tutorial. So I'd like to talk to you guys about one of the brushes in ZBrush which is really useful if you want to create rock type shapes. So if you go to Lightbox and you go to Brushes here, we can see that we have all these uh, folders in here. And if you go to uh, Trim in here, we can see that, uh, I'm just gonna let it open, it's, my computer is a little slow, I'm running an old Macintosh here. And yes, yeah, so finally it loaded. So we got a bunch of these and this last one, Trim Smooth Borders. So if you click that, we can get it. But before we get started, I'd like to give this sphere more like a rock shape so that uh, we can get something more interesting to work with. So I'm gonna go to uh, make polymesh 3D and I'm gonna go to make a dynamesh of this so that uh, we can uh, kind of get something to sculpt with. I'm just gonna take move brush in here, hit M for move. So, so when you select the brushes you can um, basically, so we know that we're doing the move brush so it's M and then if we hit V, we can get move, so we don't have to uh, we don't have to uh, go out there and try to find it manually. And if you can just like hit M and see all the ones which start with M, for example. And if you want to go like standard, just hit S, and you can see that we have all the ones which start with S. So, so it's a really quick way to to sort of limit your uh, selections here. So I'm just gonna start to kind of uh, pull this guy out so what I want to avoid is uh, any kind of per perfect sphere type shapes in here so that because in nature nothing is uh, perfect as we know like there's no such thing as perfect sphere and so on and and especially if you are starting from a cube that would be uh, really important to avoid any perfect cube kind of shapes unless it's something that's like uh, cut by a man so I'm just moving and pulling and uh, doing some little um, adjustments here to try to kind of uh, give it something that is uh, more like uh, not not a ball um, maybe this might might be something interesting here so I'm just pulling and moving and trying to just basically try to look at it from all different uh, angles so you can get like we're still getting this kind of uh, mm, too much like a perfect uh, uh, I'm just gonna do like more. Uh, it's good to not to go too uh, complicated here, not to have too many uh, things pointing out and so on. So I always try to 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 keep it simple in the beginning. So this is something that I like to do to sort of uh, get get going with my uh, sculpture. And I'm just gonna try to be a little bit quick in here. I would m normally spend more time to this to to give it more. Uh, more interesting aspects but uh, because you know you guys don't just want to see me spending all night with this so uh, let's say that we are kind of happy with this another thing what I like to do is that I like to use these trim curves to sort of a uh, cut to start to define some planes in my rock so I, what I do is that I use shift and control to get this trim curve this is a scissor kind of thing and what this does is we can see this slice uh, sort of angle which happens here so I'm gonna do and try it so I did it this way so I did it actually the wrong way so I'm gonna go from here so now we can see we are slicing our model and we are giving it this uh, sort of uh, hmm, how do you call this uh, cuts and I'm just gonna go and try to try to give it some um, something to work with um, Maybe here could be one, and again, doesn't have to be. Uh, we don't have to be really, really precise here. Uh, if you work with a reference, uh, as it always good to work with reference. By the way, if you if you can work with reference, always please do work with reference by all means. You can get so much more realism if you have something real what you can look at. So here I'm seeing that I'm just having this perfect. Uh, perfect angle here which isn't really uh, that interesting so what I'm gonna do is just uh, move out just pull out some uh, 
some shapes here just that um, we are sort of breaking up a little bit this uh, shape because it can get a little bit boring again I'm just gonna go and start sort of slice slice in here and and again we are just uh, defining the base shape here so again don't spend too much time on this so so more like just uh, get something done and get something done like as fast as possible so that uh, basically what we want to do is that we just want to have something to to start sculpting with uh, our uh, trim smooth motor brush so um, I don't know we could even probably call this uh, process done here uh, I'm just gonna go and just play a little bit more with it um, maybe here um, we do that and we go here and do that yeah so um, I'm actually quite glad about this we have now something interesting to start with so let's go and select our trim smooth broader brush so we have a bunch of options here we can use this many ways what i like to do is I'd like to use a square alpha for this it gives us more uh more harder and more definition to to do there are many ways we can do we could use for example use the spray like uh, someone in youtube uh, actually mentioned this that um if you use the spray you can already you can start to do this and if you do this without alpha I'm gonna actually turn off the dynamesh now and I'm gonna divide it so that uh, we can get more research so we can get this kind of effect right off the bat if we just use the spray and I think this is really cool uh, we already have basically rock going on here this already kind of reads as rock right it could be rock <laughs> but you know well um, it's um, not really defined and we don't have that much control but but if you have to do rock in a couple of minutes and you don't have uh, time or budget to to really uh, sculpt it in manually you could do this and get something interesting so instead of doing that uh, I'd like to however show you another ways to do it but I would like to however maybe just do this a little bit so we can we can get a little bit of this interesting uh, sort of uh, terracing effect going on in here so I'm just gonna do this uh, just a little bit so that we have um, we have these little ridges here which uh, our trim smooth powder can latch into so so to sort of explain how this works because um, this is sort of a thing that seems to still be uh, sort of like a joker sort of like a uh, this uh, weird uh, artistic brush that uh, sort of does what it ever wants so um, I'd like to sort of try to help you to understand how it works so it is uh, similar to planar brush but what I would um, if I try to if I try to kind of imagine what the trim smooth border brush would mean as a name is that trim smooth border brush is that it's a planar brush but it has a smooth or soft sort of a threshold where it sort of latches into so let's take a look so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna start to do this so what you can see is that it discovered a plane and then it sort of latched into that plane and then it's tried to continue if we do that we can smooth basically we can create a plane by just moving our uh, cursor and then if we keep moving the cursor it keeps um, pushing that in and it sort of uh, keeps that same plane but then it just starts to push itself inside so we can create these terracing effects just really quickly if we just uh, for example do this and then just crazily we move our brush uh, we keep like uh, doing this movement we can see that we are defining terracing we are defining terraces in our model like that and that's a really nice way to create rocky rocky shapes we already see it starts to look like a rock so we just like pick a one uh, one area in here and then we start to do this and then we move to different uh, altitude and we can see that we are now uh, 
getting this kind of a shapes in here and yeah it kind of looks like a rock right and then uh, now if we want to think for example I'm gonna actually just divide more to get more uh, definition so when we look at this uh, we can see that there's another plane in here so if we latch into that we can see that now we are doing this and again we can go and start to uh, sort of a uh, yeah, escalate this uh, same plane. So it's the similar direction. Uh, this cut is now, we are defining new cuts, which are going to the similar direction as this cut is going. So that's also a mm, nice way to create this type of a uh, rocky type of effects. I kind of like that, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. And then also we can use this, okay, so if we want to sort of uh, start to define this area here, we just go over there and start to start to use this it this is a brush that just you have to practice with it and you just have to try it by yourself it's really difficult to 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 tell you how it works by just by words but but if you start to play with it it's you can really find this uh, really um, super cool to to create especially rocks but it can be used for many other uses as well Yes, uh, something like that might work. And uh, I'm just gonna go in here and and try to do something more interesting here. So again, I'm gonna do that and <clears throat> maybe go here and so we can adjust the brush uh, size to create larger details and also yeah, of course, smaller details as well. And I just like to sort of uh, keep keep going. Uh, if I concentrate into one area too much I kind of start to get uh, sort of bored really quickly and then I start to lose a sense of the whole uh, whole model and the whole sort of a uh, whole scale of the thing what I'm doing and it's really easy especially with this trim smooth border brush is that we just go deeper and deeper and we just go to more closer and closer and closer and where we start to define new edges in here and we start to define find new <laughs> new edges in here and and this can be dangerous because we might have lost the entire day doing this one area here when we could have finished our rock assets so it's a really important uh, to just keep rotating your model and take breaks um, take a maybe take a walk outside even whoa haven't done that for a while um yes um that um could work like for example here we could do this so we can see that uh, this alpha is doing that. We can actually turn it off and see. If we turn it off, we can see that we get a little different effect. And I kind of dig also this um, effect without the alpha. Without the alpha, we are seeing a little bit more, uh, could be more organic type of a affair. I like that alpha, however, somehow. Um, for me, it uh, seems to work pretty nicely. But we can see that the basically, uh, even without the alpha, uh, the trim smooth water brush it um, works the same way it it looks uh, a plane and then when it latches into the plane we can go and define further areas using that same plane as a reference so um, I'm not sure if that makes any sense but um, anyway something like that so this could could be something to to do I'm just gonna go in here again and and maybe uh, try to find another area here. So this looks a little bit boring. It doesn't have too much uh, going on. So um, yes. Uh, so I'm just like uh, moving like pretty quickly here now to just try to to get something going. Maybe this could work, and, and again, maybe um, I'm gonna actually turn the alpha back on now, so that uh, maybe something like that, and maybe something like that. I'm gonna go in here and pick this, uh, maybe, so we can see we have a. <clears throat> excuse me we have this one um, 
it in here which we can define this way and something like that perhaps so it starts to read as a rock I suppose um, so we have this one area here which still needs more definition so I'm just gonna go in here and sort of hit it with this trim smooth border brush so this trim smooth border brush is really cool because it really sort of uh, allows us to discover something that we wouldn't be able to come up with so if I was to create this shape uh, using traditional modeling tools I wouldn't have been able to probably come up with uh, this sort of organic uh, shape which uh, which goes this way and then it is these shapes go this way and it sort of comes together in a way but uh, you know uh, this uh, workflow in ZBrush doing using these tools is absolutely fantastic so yes uh, so this uh, could for example work for us um, maybe I'll just do a little bit more uh, dream smooth border action here um, I'm just gonna try to find uh, like a uh, I'm looking at this guy here. I'm just gonna want to push this in. And then if you use a tablet, this is really great. So um, yeah, this might work. So I also like to use a Trim Dynamic to sort of uh, massage some areas which appear too sharp or which might be too difficult to deal with if you are baking models to low poly. So we can see that we have this uh, too sharp uh, sort of a uh, area here and I just like to, to sort of uh, push it in a little bit and I like to use this square alpha to with my trim dynamic because in that way we can get uh, a little bit harder result and it's not so soft uh, and it's also nice to have some of these transitions appear more smooth so that so that all of the transitions are not like super razor sharp of course rocks um, have uh, sometimes uh, sharp transitions and we absolutely should aim to keep them if we are not uh, working for like stylized model if we are uh, after some kind of a realistic style then um, we should have uh, some of these sharp edges but but it's really nice to do just a little bit sort of massage them with this because then we can again have light um, basically reflecting from those uh, edges so that it's sort of like uh, adding bevels but uh, not to do it too much and I like to do it at some areas and do little um, massaging on some areas but leave some of them like really sharp like we have this crisp edge in here but then uh, I maybe want to have a smooth transition here and and maybe uh, a little bit in here but then again maintain this sharp corner here but have like some of these bending it was just erosion and there's things like that in nature which uh, naturally um, tend to to sort of uh, affect the uh, uh, corners and edges and so on I also have like some area here but I like to but if we are making stylized models then trim dynamic is a really nice way to create uh, stylized stylized looking things yes uh, so um, yes this was a little look on trim smooth border my voice is starting to break up and I need to go to bed but but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will try out this trim smooth border brush it's absolutely a great way to create rocks in ZBrush this was Jaakko with a super low voice I hope to see you soon please subscribe bye bye <laughs>